You already know by the description what this video is about. I, for the past 30 days, have been posting to TikTok to see what would happen. Actually, this hasn't happened yet, but by the time you're watching this video, it has happened. So we're gonna find out the results in this video. I don't know the results, but you're about to find out. Basically for me, I feel like I have dominated Instagram, dominated YouTube, and TikTok is the place to be. Everybody says it, we all know it, and not all of us are there because we're intimidated, at least I am. I feel like if I post a video to TikTok and it goes viral, everybody's gonna hate me. <laughs> the hate comments, I am scared. But I know it is so important to be on that platform and it's something that I wanna be able to teach all of you and my students how to utilize because let's face it, it works. There's a reason everybody says to get on it. So what I'm doing, I'm doing a 30 day challenge where I'm posting to TikTok for 30 days straight, what I can do, and we're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what I learn, if anything happens, and I'll keep you posted along the way. First things first, let's set up the content calendar. Alrighty, I'm about to show you my entire setup that I have going to properly organize and plan out all of my TikTok videos. But first I wanna say a huge thank you to this video's sponsor. I literally wouldn't be able <laughs> to make all of these videos without CapCut. CapCut is a free video editing app available for both iPhone and Android users. It's what I use to edit my reels and TikToks. And the reason that I love this platform is because it's the only platform that I found or the only video editing app that I found where there's no watermarks. You don't have to pay to get access to the features and it's it's literally free it's free did you hear me it's free f-r-e-e -E. free <laughs> on top of that what's coming in really handy with this challenge is you can post your videos from CapCut directly to TikTok. So once I save a video in CapCut, it's like upload to TikTok and then you upload it it integrates directly with TikTok and it just posts to my channel which is super easy makes the process seamless so if you've been looking for a video editing app, then I will definitely leave CapCut's link down in the description below. Let's get to planning. Oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> oh, I just opened my curtains and I forget we have a cactus outside and I thought somebody was standing there. That was terrifying. Okay, so I am planning out all of my content using Notion. This is just the easiest for me right now for this 30 day challenge. My goal is to post one TikTok video every single day. And this is kind of how I have it set up right now. Top half, this is the month that I will be posting, starting to assign content ideas to specific days. This is my general posting schedule. And then down at the bottom, these are content ideas or brain dumps. If I run into an audio where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to record this video. I'm brain dumping all the stuff here. And then once I have it brain dumped, I drag it to the top to assign it to a specific day. As of the beginning of this challenge, I have 1,100 something followers. I screenshotted it here so you can know the exact number. I've been posting for about a week now and my growth is slow. So we're about 1,290-ish right now. It's been a week and I'm thinking I'm going to have to step up how often I'm posting. My strategy at the beginning was to post once a day. Today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> you would think I would not be working, but we're not celebrating Valentine's Day today. We're celebrating it on the 18th because who celebrates on a Monday? Anywho, so today I need to post. I don't know what I'm going to post yet, but I'm gonna to have to drag and drop a few ideas and start maybe doubling what I'm doing twice a day. My idea here is maybe posting, because right here you can see the type of content that each idea is. So this is educational type of content. I have four different value pillars that I rotate or try to rotate. <laughs> around talking about. I kind of suck at it. You have entertaining, inspirational, relatable, and educational. My business is very focused on educational, but in order to appeal to other people's learning styles and different personality types, you should kind of rotate talking about all of those things. So maybe what I can start doing is doing one educational post a day because that's mostly my business and then doubling it with maybe a funny trend that's relatable, quick voiceover, a little dance that's entertaining. So doing one educational and one inspirational, relatable entertaining one on top of that. So we're gonna have to double up how often we're posting, starting with today. Let's get to planning. Oh, okay. 
Okay, you just saw a quick time lapse of me planning out my content for the next week. You saw that I was kind of using my phone basically throughout last week. Anytime I was on TikTok and came across a sound multiple times or a sound made me laugh or I was able to think of like, ooh, that applies to my niche in this way. I just save the sound or I save the video and that way when I plan this week, it's a lot easier to get ideas. I just went to my saved section, pulled up a few sounds. I was like, okay, I could, I could record that this week. Now I have this week basically all planned out where I'm posting twice a day. We will see you next week when we have some updates on this. Hello everybody. We are at the halfway point of my TikTok challenge and uh, let's see. Halfway point, we're at about 2,600 followers, 20, almost 2,700 followers. It's a Monday morning and I've learned a lot so far. We're halfway through the journey and I've had a few realizations. First realization is last time you saw me, I said that I wanted to try posting twice a day. I think that's what I said to see if I could bump up how quickly we grow. And last week I posted twice, four out of three of the days of the week. Did that make sense? Four times last week, I posted twice in the day. The other days, I only posted once. But this has been helpful because a few of the posts from last week have gotten some traction. They've, they started to go off, not viral, but way more than my typical view count. I think my average views were between 600 plays and a few videos got over 10,000 or even 4,000 is a big deal for me. So a few of them got a couple thousand plays, which is huge. So that is a strategy that I'm going to continue to do throughout the, ne the rest of the challenge. See if I could post two times a day. See if I could post three times a day. That's what a lot of people say. So I'm just gonna try it and see what happens. Now I will say I have learned a lot from the past 14, 15 days. The first thing that I learned is that I probably shouldn't teach Instagram tips on TikTok. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but I'm realizing a lot of people are on TikTok because they've left Instagram and this is fine. This is actually better. I love this so much more because on YouTube, I feel like I've kind of put myself in a box where I can only talk about Instagram because that's the only content that will be successful on my YouTube channel. But in reality, like I don't want to be known for just Instagram. I want to be known for other things as well. Like I want to teach influencers so much more than just how to grow on Instagram, you know? I want to teach them how to find their unique voice, how to embrace their uniqueness, be confident on camera, grow on multiple social media platforms, not just Instagram, how to manage and leverage brand collaborations, how to make money, how to organize your emails, how to all the things, all the things. I want to teach so much more than just Instagram. And I think TikTok is the perfect place for me to create a name for myself other than like the Instagram girl. So I'm super excited to be starting from scratch on TikTok because I don't think I'll be talking about Instagram at all for the next few posts. I was kind of recycling some Instagram content, like here's some reels transitions. But what I'm realizing is moving forward, I want to focus on like brand collaborations and influencer tips and the behind the scenes life of an influencer. So I think I'm gonna use that to my advantage or that unique positioning and niche instead of the Instagram niche. And I'm really excited about it because it's just, that's something I'm super passionate about and I don't have a platform where people come to me other than for Instagram tips. So yes, moving forward over the next two weeks, I would like to post twice a day. Will I always do it? Probably not because you know, we're gonna be realistic with ourselves. If we can't do it twice a day, that's fine no pressure. But what I will challenge myself to do is I want to every single day reply to a comment from a previous video. And I think this has been something that it has helped nurture my community on TikTok and grow my platform is taking people's comments from like a previous video and replying to it as a video so I can elaborate more and explain more and show more behind the scenes. And I think this will show my audience that I'm engaged and that I'm taking the time to respond to them, not just with a comment, but with a video tutorial. So that's something that I want to challenge myself to integrate over the next few days, or at least the next the next part of the challenge, I guess. So every single day I'm going to reply to a comment with one video. And then the other video will probably be like a trendy or a trend or a voiceover, you know, something fun, lighthearted. That's what I'll be doing. So that's the strategy. I hope that this is fun. <laughs> I know you're not seeing like me create the reels, but I think it's cool to see the process of everything. All right, I'm gonna try to plan out some of the next few posts over the next few days and batch a few TikToks, get them in the drafts and probably see you next week with an update. Hello, hello everyone. Here's an update. Today is Friday, February 22nd. If you see marks on my nose, it's cause I was wearing my glasses, but 
I can't wear them for the vlog because the the reflection. So I need to get the anti-reflection ones. Also, I look like a marshmallow. <laughs> Um, I posted a video this morning on TikTok and uh, it was one of those where I just had a feeling, had a feeling it was gonna perform well. So this video here where I'm talking about how much I charge per post as an influencer. And I knew this was gonna be a controversial topic because people don't like talking about money. People don't like accepting that influencers get paid. People just don't like it. People just don't like it. Influencers love it, but non-influencers hate it. So I knew it would perform well and it's starting to. I'm like shaking because I'm like nervous. Let's see, I just posted it this morning. It's still, it's 11 a.m. right now. And I posted it two hours ago. <clears throat> it has 11,000 plays already. I'm starting to get some comments. Some are like, woo, love this. Some are, you're a liar, you suck. Yeah, right, brands would never pay that much. And I'm like, I have receipts, <laughs> literally. Like they pay me, I have receipts. So I'm just documenting this because it's part of the vlog. But my strategy here, which like I've heard about, is if you notice a video starting to take off, reply to the comments section of that video with other videos so people can like start binging your content. So today wasn't going to be a content day, but it might be a content day, even though I haven't, I need to do my makeup. Or I could just keep it raw, organic like this. So one comment that I definitely wanna to reply to is how do I start to become an influencer in general? That's a great one to reply to as a video. Another one that I'd love to reply to in video form is is negotiation. Somebody said, people post about how to reach out to brands, but not when it comes to the back and forth of negotiation and how to converse with a brand. I'd love this vid. So showing like a how to negotiate video would be cool. How can I turn a gifted collab into a paid one? Great question, that could be a video. Oh, what does a Instagram story bundle consist of and what is white listing slash black listing? Also, a lot of people are asking questions because in the comment section I said, all prices can change depending on things like usage rights, white listing, black listing, turnaround time, exclusivity, all the things. So people are replying to that comment saying like, what are these things, educate me. So there's a lot of video ideas here. And so now I just have to conceptualize each video response and how to keep each one entertaining. Maybe like one, I could be like doing my makeup while talking to the phone. The other one, just like sit down casual. Don't know yet, but yeah, now I gotta get to creating, get to scripting. <gasps> I'm like, I don't know why I'm shaking. I'm nervous because I am getting hate. Like someone just said, nah, this is a lie. And I kind of want to reply with like screenshots of my income <laughs> showing like, mm, actually we got paid this. So yeah, here we go. Hello, you are getting a phone vlog from me post shower, me in all of my glory. Last time you saw me, I was like so stoked. My TikTok is blowing up like, ah, let me make videos for it, eh, you know? And it's been a few days. It's actually been like five days and it's still blowing up. It's over a million plays right now. But there's like, this beauty of going viral that everybody strives for of like oh my gosh i got so many followers oh my gosh like literally i'm at 13,000 followers and that's what everybody thinks going viral is all about but the tiktok algorithm is so different from instagram because tiktok really does push the for you page where they're like hey let's push this who won't be interested in this content <laughs> like they take a gamble whereas with instagram like there's no gamble they're like very meticulous of like we want to make sure this person is seeing the exact meh, meh, meh. but tiktok is like let's just see what happens push it to the for you page Page. <laughs> but because of that, a lot of people come across videos that don't necessarily like the videos. And I don't know. I know that's the point of social media. I get it. I know like this is what I chose. I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not complaining. This isn't complaining. I'm just doing a reality check for anybody who is watching this and they have those expectations of going viral and all the fame and glory that goes with it. It's not all rainbows and sunshine because the past few days my reel or my tiktok has been blowing up and i just keep getting the same comments over and over of people who don't necessarily like my video or it offends them for whatever reason and it is exhausting reading the same discouraging comments over and over um i'm somebody usually negativity and haters don't get to me i'm like the more engagement the better bring it on you know like i've i've never had hate comments bother me like i typically can make a joke about it or reply to them with like a sassy remark but tiktok it's just on a whole other level where i just can't even keep up with it <laughs> 
I can't keep up with all the hate comments. Like I can reply to all the nice ones, but like all the hate comments is like, it's a lot. And it's gotten to the point where like I check my notifications and now instead of like looking to see how many followers I got or looking to see who I can, like for content ideas, did somebody comment a comment that's going to inspire a content idea? Now I'm like looking for the hate comments. Like that's not how I want it to be. That's not how it's supposed to be. Um, there's really no purpose of this video. Um, I don't really know where I was going. I just, this has been on my mind the past few days and I've never had a moment to pick up my camera because I was like, oh, I don't wanna set up the microphone. I don't wanna set up the microphone. But tonight I just like, I needed to get it off my chest because it's been like on my mind before going to sleep and it's keeping me awake. And I've just been taking everything on my shoulders lately and I just like need to get it off my chest. So I'm doing a phone vlog, just an update with the TikTok challenge. I do, I am having fun. I'm having so much fun making the videos. Um, just is hard sometimes. I understand why people are intimidated of TikTok. I never posted to TikTok because this was my fear. And I understand why people give up after a certain point. I understand why people never make it super duper big because people can't handle these sorts of comments. And I don't know how to handle them yet. When I figure that out, I'll let you know. So I don't know if this was encouraging, like, hey, make a TikTok, or if it was like, don't ever do TikTok. <laughs> There's no purpose of this. I just needed to get it off my chest and I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> just kidding. We'll have an update for you soon and uh, I'm sure I'll be happy-go-lucky Millie and super stoked about everything because I really do love the content that I'm making over there. It's really fun. I posted a video today that was solely for me. It wasn't valuable at all. It was just fun making and I loved it. I loved it. So there's, there's pros and cons to everything. Anywho, I'm gonna get ready for bed now, now that this is off my chest. Talk to you later. It is that time. The end of the 30 day TikTok challenge. Last time you saw me, I was in my room processing the new platform of TikTok. Let's talk about results, shall we? Today is March 7th, which means it's officially been 28 days since I started the TikTok challenge on February 7th. Keeping in mind, February has less days in the month, so it wasn't really a 30 day TikTok challenge. It was 28 days because February doesn't have all the days in the, the month. So today marks 28 days, but one full month, February 7th through March 7th of the TikTok challenge. When I started the challenge, I had 1,190 followers, I think. This was what the screenshot said about 1,100 followers. I wasn't posting consistently. I wanted to post consistently. I think since October of last year, I had posted maybe 20 videos. That's pushing it. But I wasn't really posting consistently on the platform at all. It was like once every week or so, if anything. So I was like, okay, TikTok, I'm gonna go dive in, post every day. You saw week one, I posted every day. Week two, I was like, let's try doing twice a day. And then week two and three, I was posting two to three times a day. The fourth week, I kind of took a back seat because that was me processing, oh, my video's blowing up and I don't know how to handle all this criticism. So I started posting maybe once a day, the final week of the challenge. Let me pull up my analytics, creator tools, analytics. Let's do the last 28 days. Okay. <laughs> my engagement has gone up 22,000% for video views. Yeah, my engagement has gone up quite a bit. When it comes to followers, I've gained 16,000 followers in the past 28 days. You can see in this graph right here, I started posting on the 7th. I got four new followers, woohoo. Remember the 7th through the 14th, I was only posting once a week. So this first line is really the once a week. It wasn't until I started posting twice a week that the traction really started to build up. And then that video blew up around here, bringing my followers up a ton. See, going to content, my most trending videos here. Obviously the one that went viral, it has almost 2 million plays as of right now. And then I also have one called how to become an influencer. That one seems to be doing really well. And what I noticed is the videos where I was replying to comments with a video on the viral video. Did that make sense? Yeah, I have the viral video. People were commenting. I would reply to comments with another video so that in the comment section, that video would appear. Those videos performed really well. 
So that was kind of a strategy that I used towards the end of my challenge. Instead of creating the posts that I had planned to post, I was like, let me go with the, go with the flow here. Let me reply to my audience and engage with my audience via their questions, answer their immediate questions through creating kind of like a funnel on my TikTok, where if they go to a TikTok video, most videos will have another video linking to it to kind of encourage that binge worthy content. So you could say that this was a successful test. Final thoughts, final, final conclusion, the conclusion of it. I think TikTok is such a great platform to be on. I'm very excited to be on TikTok because I think I was saying earlier in the vlog, I don't wanna just be like an Instagram coach. I want to teach more and I wanna be known for other things. And I think that's where TikTok will come into my content strategy. Instagram, a lot of people are there because they wanna grow on Instagram. TikTok, I can teach so many other things that don't have to be so heavily focused on Instagram. And I think that'll bring more of the right types of people to my profile, to my business website, to my YouTube, to all of the things. So I think it's gonna create my, help my business become a lot more well-rounded. So TikTok's great. If you're posting Instagram reels, just post them to TikTok too. It's not that hard. Just recycle the content, do it. 100%. Let me first talk about the differences between Instagram and TikTok and then a few things that I learned by posting to TikTok. Main difference is the algorithm. This is kind of what I was telling my husband. I feel like the TikTok algorithm is very much like, yeah, let me push your content to everyone. Let's push your content to anyone and everyone as long as it's performing well. So that brings a lot of people to my page that might not even be interested in my page, attracting a ton more haters, like a ton more people who probably I wouldn't want them <laughs> to see my videos. So there's that. Pros and cons. Pros, your videos can see more people. Cons, your videos see the people that you wouldn't want it to see and then they're mean. Instagram, the algorithm is so specific where it can be harder to get that viral sensation. Instagram's like, we want to show your video to the specific right types of people. So we're gonna make sure your content and their interests and the hashtags and your page and everything is in alignment before pushing it out to the right types of people. But when it does blow up, it's the right people. So there isn't as much hate on Instagram. Okay, first of all, I am gonna make a completely separate video on how to grow on TikTok because the strategies are kind of different for Reels and TikTok, very much similar. But there's just like some other things that I would switch around with TikTok to be more relevant to that platform. So I will be having a completely separate video whenever that's up, I'll link it here in the card above. For that video, since it's not filmed yet, let me know what kind of specific questions you have for that in the comments below. What questions do you have when it comes to growing on TikTok? When I film that, I'll be sure to answer some of your questions. Okay, now what I learned, I learned that TikTok is a great way to start from scratch. Like you could start from the zero and blow up like that. It's a great way to start from scratch, to reposition yourself, to rebrand. And that's something that's really exciting for me too, because I get to be a whole other person. I get to be a different part of Millie, a different part of my business on TikTok, which is really exciting. I also learned that you don't have to batch content for TikTok. You can batch content for TikTok and it helps for 30 day challenges like this, but you don't have to because I feel like with TikTok, I was more so making content on the go. It wasn't, okay, I'm gonna film 10 videos. Like the first 10 days, yeah, I was like, I batched. These are pre-recorded, ready to go, or these are recycled from Instagram. But the rest of the content was just like, oh, I found a trend while I'm making eggs. Literally one morning I was making eggs and I was like, oh, I have this audio that I wanna record. Well, while the eggs are cooking, let me just like record da 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 da. Like I did a voiceover lip syncing thing with an audio, saved it in my drafts. Like it was very much, oh, this sound is trending. Let me just quickly record my lip syncing. I'll add text to it later. I'll add an idea to it later. So a lot of the videos that I was making were very much on the go, more casual, kind of like Instagram stories, talking to your audience, answering questions, kind of, that's the, that's the best way to build your community on TikTok. It's very much replying to comments via text and replying to comments via video to give more information and to give more insight because you're limited on those character accounts. Whereas in Instagram, you can really build community through Instagram stories and DMs. Like that's the best way to talk to your people. DMs, Instagram stories, comment section, so much, so many interactive features. TikTok, the only way is posting videos. Like that's how you engage with your community is through just posting and posting and posting. Final bonuses. Something that I'm really excited about moving forward with TikTok is I started to change up my strategy a little bit where some of the videos are nurture content and then the other is selfish content. So 
if you've never seen any of my videos or you're not one of my students, I talk about nurture content as like nurturing your community, building relationships with community. You have nurture content. You also have growth content, which is like not so much community building, but it's more of that clickbait. This is how to da da da. This is why you should da 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 da. Five reasons to da da. So it's very much like you want to grow. You have the nurture, you have the growth. And then I figured out a new category called selfish content. And it's just when you make TikToks for you. Like I made this TikTok here that was solely for me. I just had so much fun making it and it did not perform well, no, but it made me enjoy the platform more because I was like, this is the type of stuff that I was making originally. Before I was YouTuber Millie, before I was Instagram coach Millie, before I was influencer coach Millie, like before she existed, I was making stuff like that that was more fun and creative and vlog style and just go to the very beginning of my YouTube channel, that's what I was doing. And even my old YouTube channel, not gonna say what it was called <laughs> cause it's very embarrassing. But my old YouTube video or YouTube channel, it was very much just like whatever the heck I wanted to post, not trying to grow. And that's this type of stuff that I wanna do a lot more of on TikTok is yeah, there's gonna be nurture content. There's gonna be growth content, but there's gonna be selfish content where I'm gonna make this for me because it was fun. It was a vlog. It was me documenting my day so I could look back and be like, oh wow. That was a really cool day that I had, you know? So I think TikTok is more accepting of that type of content and I'm excited to integrate that more into my strategy. All right, that is the end of my TikTok vlog slash 30 day challenge. I hope you all learned something from this. I can't even piece together all of the clips in my head to envision this video making any sense, but I hope it was cool to actually see the behind the scenes process of week by week where I was at with growth on my TikTok channel and hope if you were encouraged or inspired or learned a little bit of something for your own adventures on social media, whether it be TikTok or Instagram reels, that's what this page is all about to hopefully help you and encourage you to just step outside of your comfort zone a little bit and put yourself out there on social media. If you made it this far and you're not already subscribed, hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.